Bubbles, bubbles, good morning. Hey, welcome to the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. Hope you're doing well today. And today is a hundred and oh no, hundred ninth, one thousandth and ninth episode. And I was trying debating what the topic would be for today. And then I and I saw it was a ninth, and I said, nine. Well, it's how to say no. <coughs> Excuse me. I had a cough there, bubbles. I guess cat fur. Mm. I've been petting her all morning. There's cat fur floating. I think she comes here to get me to pet her to get the cat fur off. So she doesn't puke like her episode yesterday. Talking about her puking. Hi, you want to show everyone? Oh, there I am. There's Bubbles. She's here. Um, and I called her name. So now she's like, oh, I'm here. <laughs> pet me. Uh, so today I want to talk about how saying no can be tough. Let's admit it. Saying no to things is very tough. And I had this offer to speak at a um, podcast on actual transformation. And I was like, ooh, I, I really was wanting to do it. But I had to say no. So I want to go through the steps I took to getting to that final no and say I couldn't do it. And why? Balancing quality. Um, more negatives and positives, not making anyone happy. All these kind of things go into why we have to say no. And and I'm giving a podcast example of me being on a show, but this applies to a team when customers and business people come in and want to give you more stuff. Sometimes you just have to say no, and there's a reason why. And you have to work maybe through these. There's some steps that I took to offer that out. So this is a 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show, and we have Bubbles over here who's pestering me for being petted. And we talk about Scrum and Agile in a very practical, tactical way. So you can bring value to your customer, not work crazy hours, bring that value to your customer, and have a little fun along the way. And I think I'm going to hit all four of those points in this episode. So the saying no, just like no, no, no. Well, the Scrum Guide says we shouldn't do it or it's not said in the Scrum Guide, so it's no. Well, that's not necessarily true. But in this case, this is a value proposition. I'm going to say my steps to saying no. So I got um, a message on LinkedIn about getting invited to a new um, podcast program. And I wanted to talk about Agile Transformation. I was really looking forward to it. It looked really interesting. And I was like, cool, this would be cool. But the one day, and I said, okay, well, give me a date. When Well, they gave me a date, and that date, I'm not going to be available. I'm going to be out of town. There's no way I can be that. And so what I offered to them was um, when I said no, I said, I, said um, I can't make that date, but I can do these dates and these dates, and I gave them a whole list of dates. Well, they came back and says, no, it's got to be that date. And I'm like thinking about it. And I'm like, okay, if I pick that date, what are my problems? I'm on travel. I can't guarantee the quality of the connection to doing the podcast online, right? So my quality could be at question if I try to do it on that date because I'm going to be in a hotel or something, you know, it just won't be there. Two, I got a lot of other things going on that same date, same time that will pull me in different directions. Now, I had multiple customers, other customers, my kids, right? And they, they're going to want me to do something that day. So I have a conflict there. So here's one of the things. I offer the dates. They said no. So what I had to start doing is weighing these options. For example, is the, if I say yes to this and put that into my backlog is that going to impact the quality of not only the stuff I already committed to, but the things I'm saying yes to now, right? In this case, the answer is yes. So the impact of quality is I may have a bad connection. The, the whole conversation would be, would be poor, probably, most likely. Um, the impact on preparing from other customer, which is my family, to help them out will be poor too because we'll be rushing it and everybody's be frustrated and the quality of that activity is just going to come down. So I got two hits on the quality if I said yes for that same time box, right? 
Another aspect of it is the guarantee, right? I can't guarantee at all that I will physically be available. Bubbles, <laughs> she's hitting the microphone. <laughs> um, I won't be there available at all to do the program. So I might miss the date, right? And and not even miss the date. <clears throat> and, and if I said yes and there's no alternative, there's no show. So if there's nothing for them to do, they can come up with an alternate at their choice. Um, the other thing is, which I don't understand why there's only one date, but that's another story. That's that's not a very agile way of thinking, um, especially when you give alternatives. But then the other thing is, I would be late with the other event. So now I'm a double negative. Like I said, is it just create more negatives? One, it affects quality. Don't know if the quality of the activity is going to be good for either one of my clients. And I don't know if I can do either one of the clients. So saying yes to the activity would be a potential double negative, both negative for them as someone who I would do stuff business in the future and for my family in that case, because I'll be a grumpy jerk and, and everyone will be late and be frustrated. And why are you doing this? Why we're doing this fun activity? So it's not going to, it's just not going to work out. So I had to say, no, I said, I, sorry, I can't make it. If you can pick another date or whatever, let's talk. If not, maybe we'll get another opportunity again in the future, but I had to say no. And sometimes you have to do that with your clients because they come down and say, oh, can you do this stuff also? It's like, no, we have to get this work done. And sometimes you have to say no, and people have a tough time doing it. And I, I'll be honest, I really wanted to say yes to that event. And I really dug down to say, no, nah, it's not going to be good for anyone. And I'd rather have one happy one that I know I can make happy. And that would be my family because they're a higher priority, to be honest with you. But even in business, if you have something that's like launching that week and someone comes, oh, I want to add this thing. Well, no, 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 no. We're going to launch this. We're going to make somebody happy. We're going to get this out the door and it's going to be produced. I'm not going to put that in jeopardy, especially when we're this close. You're just going to have to wait. I mean, it, it's just going to have to be because if we don't get this, then no one will be happy. And this is one of the things I try to work with teams when I coach them is you have to be realistic on, okay, are you going to make no one happy or at least get somebody happy, you know? By taking on the extra work, is that going to result in no one be happy? You're going to miss dates, delivery dates, like the example in this podcast program that I was going to do. And the kids, I said, they had, I was going to be late for both of them. Neither one would be happy. They'd be all grumpy. I'll catch the, the, the gist for it. At least maybe I couldn't do the one. They're going to be upset that I couldn't do it. But I will have at least one person happy. So you, you delivered one product. At least that one group will be happy. You know, not everyone's going to be happy. It's the it's the deal with saying no and your limited resources. There's only one of me and there's only so, so much time or availability to use the same time box. You can't multitask everything. So it was tough. But what here's a couple of things I did on well, my way to saying the final no. When I looked at the, the dates and, and my, my bandwidth that day, offered alternatives to that ability to do that. Okay, so I offered alternatives, whether or not they take it, they couldn't take it, they couldn't match my alternatives. And I said, you know, my quality would be, you know, if they really had to do that, my quality would be lower. No one's going to be happy. I just know it. So I had to say no. Now, here's the final kicker on this. No, you have to be accepting of you saying no, right? fine with it. You have to get to the point. I said, no, you, you don't, you don't want to hold like, what can, what am I losing? What if I said, yes, what would be done? No, you know what? You said, no, move on. Right. And that was the other part that we have to get on. We said, no, it's going to be no. And if something comes up, I'll let you know, but it's a no and be happy with that and be fine with that and move on. Cause there's so much other stuff that needs to be done. Anyhow, it doesn't, there's so much work out there. There's so much things people may not think there is, but there is so many things to do. You have to be comfortable with your decision. And that makes it easier to say no, is that you get used to that comfort of like, 
Yeah, I had to say no. I did my due diligence, offered alternatives, but I said no. So since this is the 1,000th episode, and it is nine in German for no in German, right? I figured we, I think when I was looking at my topics I could talk about, I said, huh, no, 1,000th episode, nine, no. So I wanted to do a no episode, give you an example of something I had to do to get ready to say no and share that with you that it is a tough thing to do, but there's some things you can do to make that no a little bit more palatable. Like, did I, did I look at, alternatives yes that provide alternative dates yes that i look at the quality yes that i look at the fact that it's going to be a super negative for me when no one's happy when i'm late on everything because of the multitasking yeah i looked at that too you know what just pick one that you're going to be happy with be done with it the other stuff they either come back or not if they really want you they'll ask for your help trust me they've been waiting long enough for something Something else will come along, but at least you make someone happy. So with that, make someone happy by saying no to somebody else. Okay? Say no to somebody else and make somebody happy and make yourself happy. Take the stress off yourselves for what you're going to do. With that, I'm going to say have a great day. Happy scrumming. Enjoy. And we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. Doo-doo.